assessing for the right technology partner, there are really five criteria that one should focus on. Three of them are fairly obvious and they're almost metric based, and two of them are less obvious but in some sense even more important. The three obvious ones are skills, capacity, and size. So let's talk about those three. Skills, pretty simple. Does the company that you're engaging with have the necessary skills to successfully complete your project? Beyond that, do they have skills that will potentially be used for things that you may run into that you didn't anticipate? For instance, does your project involve integration with other technologies? Or does it involve UI, UX components that you may need skills that you didn't anticipate for at the beginning? So they need to have a full set of skills beyond just what's needed for your project. The second area is capacity. Does the vendor have additional capacity to be able to immediately staff for your project? So in the industry, it's called a bench. Does the company have a bench, which is that spare capacity? Or do they have internal flexibility that allows them to assign or reassign technical specialists for your project? The third of those sort of metrics-oriented criteria is company size. That's actually pretty important because you need a company that has the size and corpus to be able to have the skill set, have the fundamental underpinnings like a training program, have been in business for you know no less than a decade, preferably more. Um, and so that small size or the, the bottom edge for that would be about a thousand employees. There's also an upper limit. You want a company that has the flexibility to really focus on you and your account rather than those companies for which, you know, if you have less than 150 or 200 developers, they're not really focused on it. So from our experience, that upper edge is about 10,000 employees. So companies within that sweet spot are really the companies that will give you a combination of the security of knowing they're going to be around in the future, the skill set and the capacity that you need, but also the focus that you expect as a client. Two intangible criteria that are are, that are probably more important. One is the ability to learn it. Um, because let's be realistic, no two companies are the same. It means that any external developer needs to learn your business while they're also learning how to code for your business. So you need to work with a company that has demonstrated success record of not only having industry expertise, but being able to adapt that to the specifics of your company. I've been with Data Art for a year, but I've known Data Art for more than a decade. During the time before I joined Data Art, I had recommended uh, Data Art to a number of clients of my previous company that were looking for offshore development services. The reason I did is because Data Art has always been known for top notch development expertise and the ability to get things done on time, on budget, and the most important part is in a way that doesn't require software development support after things are released. Statistics actually do matter. Over those years, I recommended six clients to DateArt. Every one of those clients came back happy. So when I was looking for, at new opportunities uh, last year, very quickly came to the top of the pile was DataArt because from my perspective, you always want to work with a company where you can wake up every morning and feel very comfortable that the services that you're selling are best in class. And ultimately, that's what data art services are. From a metrics perspective, because I'm a big believer in metrics, our 30% year-over-year growth rate for the last seven years, all organic, um, is really compelling. You don't get that unless you're doing things well. 